on a persena must be familiar with the major parts of the persena and how the persane operation is conducted. The central piece of gear in the operation is the persane net. It is a huge rectangular piece of netting hung between the cork line, which floats on the surface, and the chain line, which is weighted. This allows the net to sink to its maximum depth, with the intention of forming a huge wall that prevents the fish from escaping. Purse rings are attached by chain bridles at intervals along the purse line. Sinkers hold the bottom of the netting down, while floats hold the head rope up. The purse winch is a powerful, hydraulically driven winch, generally positioned amidships. One of the purse winch drums holds all the purse wire prior to sitting and pays it out through a block attached to the davit and the purse rings as the net is set. Once the net has encircled the school of fish, two drums on the purse winch are used to haul in the wire purse cable from the bow and stern sections of the net. This closes the net and prevents the fish from escaping. The main boom supports a hydraulically driven power block suspended at its upper end. The power block is rubberized with raised cleats to grab the net as it turns and haul it aboard after pursing is completed. The entire net from chain line to cork line and purse rings passes through the power block descending to the deck level for manual sacking by the crew. The net skiff is used to drag the end of the net into the water at the commencement of the shot. This holds the sack or bag end of the net while the persena encircles the fish with the rest of the net. The skiff also assists in holding the persena in position while pursing and net hauling operations take place. Many modern persenas now have bow and stern thrusters, so the role of the skiff in pulling the persena during those operations can be less important. The persena may also use a variety of auxiliary vessels to enhance fishing and searching operations. Speedboats are used to create a wash to prevent fish from escaping under the persena during pursing. Towboats help pull the cork line and assist in the hauling operation. Tender boats are used to check fads and other floating logs that may have fish and to assist in general fad operations. The brailer is a heavy metal ring with attached netting and a quick release to close the bottom. It is used to transfer up to five tons of tuna in one lift from the sacked up net to the fish wells aboard the Persena. Most Persenas operating in the Western and Central Pacific tuna fishery now use the Spanish style brailing system. This uses an auxiliary boom and a series of winches to drag the brailer through the crowded fish and out of the water. A reinforced unloading boom is used to support the cork line and sack. This makes the operation fully automated, dispensing with the use of the net skiff in the brailing operation as had previously occurred. Safety and vessel rules must be observed at all times. New crew members should familiarize themselves with the safety equipment on the vessel, as well as safety signs and designated areas such as non-smoking sections. Appropriate personnel protective equipment should be worn when working. Pollution of the sea is to be avoided at all times. The correct disposal of rubbish, including damaged netting, must be followed. Remember, the protection of the marine environment is in your best interest as a fisher as well as the interest of every nation in the Pacific Island region.